Welcome back. Apparently, Reza wants to meet with us at Mocha Loco. And Reza is apparently Zoe's ex-boyfriend. So this could be awkward. Although she said she was still friends with him, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Well, we know where Mocha Loco is, so let's uh, go there. I guess that one of these people here is Reza. Only two of them are guys, so it's one of those two. And considering we've seen uh, a picture of Reza in the apartment, it shouldn't be too hard to realize that it's the guy sitting back there, talking on the phone. With the spiky black hair. So well, let's go and see what he has to say. Maybe he knows something about... Uh, that weird thing with the girl who tells us to save April Ryan. Probably not, though. Actually, so far I've all uh, I've been running everywhere, but uh, you can actually also walk by holding down shift, and you can sneak by holding down control, which we will need to use later. Not right now, though. Running is the default, though. Unlike in Uru, where walking is the default. Okay, well, let's go talk to Reza. See what he has to say. If he has the time to talk to us, because uh, he seems to be quite busy talking on the phone. Reza? Hey! One moment. Rio? Yeah, call me when you're all set up. I'm with a friend. Okay, bye. Who was that? Well, hello to you too, Zoe. Hello. So, who was that? Nosy. <laughs> it's good to know that some things never change. It was just business. I'm curious, that's all. I'm happy you're dating again. It's not a date, it's just... Business, I know. I just don't want you to feel awkward talking about that stuff with me. We're past that. Noted. I'll make sure to tell you about all my romantic adventures, if they ever happen. So... How are you? I'm good. Dad left for Bombay today, so I've got the house to myself. I'm having a few people over tonight. Party? Officially, it's a small get-together. We get to choose whether we want to invite him or not. Doesn't really make any difference as far as I'm aware, but anyway. Uh, come on, Raza, by the way. Look at that face, she's totally still into you, even though she broke up with you. Just wait a, wait a couple of months until she gets out of her rut, and you'll be back together in no time. Or something like that. As if I'm the expert on relationships, whatever. Um, anyway, Reza seems like nice enough a guy, and um, although he does look preoccupied, as this description says, it might be nice for him to unwind a little, uh, so let's invite him. By the way, if you have time, I mean, you're welcome to... You can bring anyone you want. It's just a few people, nothing big. I wish I could, but I have some stuff to take care of, work stuff. I'm really sorry, I wish I... Don't worry about it. It's, it's no big deal. Next time, okay? What's going on with you, Reza? You've been busy. Working on a story? Neck deep. As usual. I've gotten about five hours worth of sleep in the last, what, 72 hours? Sounds like you're onto something big. It could be. I haven't taken it to the hand yet. I haven't even talked to Martin about it. I need more background, more research, but it's looking... It's looking pretty big. Can you tell me anything about it? I can't, I'm sorry. Come on, you're making me curious. Come on, not even a hint. You know I never talk about the stories I'm working on. That wouldn't be ethical. And it wouldn't be safe. I know, I'm being nosy. No, you're just being your inquisitive and curious self. I really don't feel like myself anymore. Are you okay? I am. I should be. I don't have any reason to complain. My dad's been supportive. I have everything I could possibly need. Enough money to go anywhere I want. 
The thing is, I don't really care about anything anymore. I don't have any goals or ambitions, and, and I hate feeling like this. It's not me. But you've felt like that for a while, though, haven't you? I mean, it's what you told me when you broke up with... I know, Reza. But I thought it was just a passing phase, and now... Now it's starting to worry me. Is this how I'm going to be feeling for the rest of my life? I feel like I'm letting everyone down. I can't even muster up the enthusiasm or the courage to go down to Cape Town to visit Katrina and David. What does that tell you? That you're just stuck in a rut. That's all. And it's only been a couple of months since you left Cape Town. You deserve a break. I know you're trying to make me feel better, and I appreciate that, but... I don't know. I need more than reassurances at this point. I need something to get me up in the mornings. A direction in life. A purpose. Something to... Shit. Sorry. I have to take this one. Careful. No problem. Be careful what you whisper yeah. there, Zoe. Thanks. Okay, I'll be back soon. Just stay there. Sorry about that, Zoe. I'm a bit stressed today. You were saying? Don't worry about it. Uh, I know you've got stuff to do. Speaking of that, you said on the phone you wanted to talk. What's up? I need a favor. A favor, eh? What's in this for me? Uh, sounds like a lot of work. We don't even know what he wants yet. Could be uh, really easy. No work at all. Besides, it's not like we have anything better to do. According to Wonkers, our entire afternoon is free. We have nothing uh, scheduled. So, um, let's help him out. Sure. I don't have any other plans this afternoon. Great. It's nothing big. I just need you to go downtown and pick something up for me. What is it? Do you know where the Sishadri building is located? Mm, nope. It's not far from the hub. There's a company there called Jiva, a biotech lab run by a woman named Chang. Helena Chang. All I need you to do is pick up a package from her. She's expecting me, but I don't have time right now. And I need that package as soon as possible. I don't want to use a courier simply because it's sensitive material. Chang was quite insistent that I can't pick it up in person. I'll send her a message and tell her you're picking it up instead. Is that all right? I mean, you don't mind, do you? Not at all. Seshadri building, Jiva, Helena Chang, package. As soon as possible. And come to my apartment as soon as you have the package, okay? I'll get the hand that bites to pay you for a couple of hours' work. Don't worry about it. I'm not doing this for the feed, Reza. I'm doing it for you. Thanks. I really appreciate it. I guess I should get going. And you need to go do... whatever it is you're doing. Business. Top secret stuff. About that party. Sorry. Small get-together tonight. What? If I finish up early, I'll try and stop by. Okay, if you finish early. And if you can enjoy the gossip and the red wine... The way it's going, we're looking at a real girls' night in. I'll keep that in mind. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks again for helping me out today. Bye. All right, so we gotta help out Reza. Reza has asked me to pick up something downtown from a company called Jiva. They're located in the Sashadri building. I'm supposed to talk to a woman named Helena Chang. Now I want you to cast your mind back to the longest journey, when we first went and visited Burns Flipper. In the warehouse he was in, you got um, the security camera view when you went inside, and in the corner of that view there was a name, and at the time I told you it wasn't going to be important, but that I wanted you to remember it anyway. That name was the Shadri Industries. And that's why I wanted you to remember it, because they're back now. Not sure if they planned that, or if they just figured uh, they have the name, so let's use it again. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. It appears that Reza is a reporter. And he works for the Hand That Bites uh, newspaper or news 
thing. I don't know if it's a paper or something on the wire. And I don't know. I always got the impression at the beginning here that um, the hand that bites was, you know, something small like a local rag. But um, the more we find out about it, the more it seems it's actually a pretty big, uh, pretty famous thing. Anyway, we need to head down to the Shishadri building. Try saying that ten times fast, by the way. Shishadri. Um, to pick up this package. And in order to do that, we need to take a cab. And conveniently, there is one here. But we'll take it in the next video.